Um, so when you when you are starting out in your young business, even if you're an older business and you've been successful, and you're, you're I don't want to say limp along, but you get by. When you start talking and trying to dive into you know how do I get better at marketing, it all just becomes so overwhelming, and people are afraid to pay. I mean, to be honest, you know, I'm afraid to give someone money, for yeah. example, and then it doesn't pan out like it's a lost investment. I have reached out to, I, I take that back, some well-known, um, what, how do you say? Uh, Marketing pop, gurus? Po- popular, uh, they're not sites or search engines, but apps that you would go on so people can find you. Okay. And then you say, yes, let's try this. And then the next thing you know, you get this enormous hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars bill mm-hmm. and you go, I didn't get a phone call. <laughs> like not a single phone call. And they're like, yeah, well, we can see here, your website got a lot of clicks. <laughs> it was like, uh, that translated to zero dollars. That made no money for me whatsoever. Right. So, uh, you know, what do you do when someone sits down and goes, looks at you and goes, well, what's the difference between you guys and your, you know, team or firm as opposed to, well, Yelp has a team and firm too that was going to help us out. Yeah, so I would say off the get off the gate, man. I'm not trying to hide the fact that marketing is a large investment because mm-hmm. um, to do it right, it's not cheap, right? So I'd say three years ago, we opened this business about four years ago. Three years ago, we made a mistake, very similar to that. I probably said those exact same words to somebody, put in mouth, right? Um, and literally, what uh, what, what went down was I got in this lead game. Like I got into the game where I'd be like, "What do you need? Oh, you need more customers? Okay, great. I can supply more customers by getting Facebook ads, Google ads, Instagram ads, going well for your company." I'll supply those to you. And then we did that, right? And we did it, we did it on a regular basis. Sometimes we'd get somebody 250 leads and they'd still be unhappy because the system was broken. They didn't have a good cell structure. Or I'd give them 40 leads and they'd be unhappy. And it was never this like thing that made them happy. That happy meeting. Right? Yeah. And I was like, like a sweet spot. We got so we got out of the lead game. That's not what we do anymore. And the reason is because it's a mess. It's like it's never ending losing game. And what we do now instead, and this is really if you have anybody that's trying to sell you the lead game, you need to run really quick anyway, because it's, right. it's a bad game to play. Because um, it can be bad quality. It's, oh, yeah, I, I found out the hard way too with another <laughs> company. Yeah, they really can. So what we do now is we start at the beginning. We actually go through your CRM. We find out what your actual process is. Right, we say is. CRM. So wherever you store any data, if you don't store data, we fix that. Okay. <laughs> um, so we help you actually get a place to, uh, to put your data. We make sure how you're reaching people now. We actually analyze what you've currently done, whether it's nothing or something. Um, and we organize your brand side. Like, so if we got you a lead, if you got a lead just through your brand, where would it go? Is it going through this pipeline? Is it, being, is it the assistant picking it up and they're fully responsible for making this phone call? We structure that whole thing. And after we're completely cool with the way that is set up, then we talk about campaigns. Because we want to supply leads to a structure that works. Because not everybody has an infinite budget. If you say you come to me and say, I have a budget of $10,000, I want to get some leads. I need, I need a couple hundred leads over the next quarter to make these millions of dollars on a million here. That's fantastic. Let's set a structure up to actually collect those leads first. Though. That's super important. I feel like a lot of marketers, what they do is they jump on that money. They're like, give me that tinker. Right? Of course. <laughs> yeah, sure. And then, and then they just don't put anything in place. Right. They literally just eat that $10,000 up. And then they say, well, the data says that we really should have had a better, better process in place before we did this. Be good to know before you spend my 10 grand. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> and that's where I'm getting at. I, a lot of people are scared to have that conversation. As marketers, are scared to have that conversation with the customer because right. they don't want to lose the sale. Because it's like you start having that conversation about need a better structure, and they're like, oh, I, I don't have money for all that. You really don't have money to waste six grand in the next yeah, year. <laughs> right. So now we have that hard conversation. And it loses some contracts, but it's usually the contracts that would have been bad anyway. 